good picture there on the video. Good all exhibitors, it's time for deep hunters, four year old and upper. That's another grand down there for Marie Costo and East Lady. In the event of a quality of faults. Now we'll have two ponies to come to us, Scarlet Princess and Little Light. Two is up at the top there. Three is over there on the, the red and white one there. You come around that, that there and you meet four. Five of the flanks are both. Six of this one here. This one, the, the, the six of I test you well, you know. I test you by horses that to jump on ready or something. You know? Yeah. 
She wants a small one, so she's not big. You know what I mean? She gets a she's always gonna be the first person to get a very nice game mm -hmm. after the next forty nine to left. Yeah. Yeah. Oh what a shame, what a pity. What a pity Tanya and Tom and they are in little light. One of her ponies with a little old tree, you know, it's a pity. were in first place John O'Donnell, in second place Robert B. Jacobs and in third place James O'Donnell. That's for the best pure with Hereford Heifer. This is the last call for class 20, three year old Gerlinger or Pelle. Last call for class 20 in ring four.
The broodmares today were very fine type of mares. Best I've seen this year, uh, one of the in shows. And this winner is an outstanding mayor, a very nice type of mayor. And the call too is going to be a nice one, time to come. So uh, I present this. Oh. No, uh, this Jim. Yeah. Oh, no. uh, to uh, Mrs. Uh, Catherine Vichy. On behalf of my grandfather, Martin Maher, Gary Gog, I'd like to present this to Mrs. Sue Catherine. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And if you walk her up, just walk her up. Class 2 in Ring 1 has been judged at the moment. Sponsored by Welsh and Gilligan Accountants, Carrick on Shore. Okay. Fine, yeah, that's lovely. This is a very nice colt foal. Uh, he stands a good li length over ground and uh, has lovely quality and is a very good mover. And uh, in my opinion, should go into a nice yearling and a good young horse in time to come. So all the foals are pretty good and have a good standard. And uh, I hope that they all go on to be good ones. It's very and I should congratulate the owners and having them so well turned out. And um, I'm sorry I cannot give first to more of them. That's just about it, what to be. The dam is by Orchard Brief. She's a 17-year-old mayor. She has bred champion foals before and indeed a champion in Dublin. I rate this as one of her best projects. Lovely colour, good stand quality, and as the judge said, he will make a nice year and all indeed a two year old as time goes by. Look depends, of course, on how he develops in the meantime. But generally speaking, as he stands today, he has all the potentials of a future champion. Come in, will you? 
class two now that you've been looking at was sponsored by Welsh and Gilligan Accountants. And the following are the winners. First, Jack Kearns, Coburner Brown, Piltown. Second, Joe Flynn, Fox's Castle, Kilmac Thomas. Third, Jazz Whitty, Woodview House, Milltown, Boris, County Kilkenny. And fourth, Kildalton Agricultural College. Hello. Class 2 was sponsored by Welsh and Gilligan Accountants, Carrick and Shore. Thank you. week before the show and we'll be uh, we'll, we'll have a record day anyway on the tickets so thank you so much. This, this is the first year you ever put them on sale for a long time before the show how did that go? The first year was about 10 years that we put them on sale and we must have about six, seven hundred pounds of tickets sold this morning so before, the, before we started this morning so we have plenty of lines. Don't keep them at loan. A big wave there now. Big wave, my else. <laughs> okay Val. Yeah, you got over the pavement. Commencing at the moment. Sponsored by Campus Science. This is all going to open Bambi Norris. Yeah. Very hard. Do we have Joe Malone, Malone to the secretary's tent, please? Joe Malone to the secretary's tent. It's been gobbled up, you see. Who's looking for Joe? Uh, I, I don't know if there's any yeah. space there for you. Hello, come in, whoever uh, said they had Joe Malone. Could you come up to. Okay. Uh, the secretary's office, up at the end Who's of the Joe street, come right in the gate. Come right in. The main category for two thousand pounds. And approximately ten last two in the other backwards of the other mic wire for three and a half thousand pounds. And they say they see that from the main and this will be followed by the wildly hard release. Thank <laughs> you. 
Will you please come to the arena immediately? Now we have um, Seamus Hutchison, who is one of our joint winners with Star Slip, receiving his prize from the representatives of Allied Irish Banks, Carrig on Shore, who very generously sponsored this competition. This is the final call for all exhibitors in the Bank of Ireland to assemble in ring one. Now we have number 14, Star Slip, and Seamus Hutchison, who is no stranger to the winner's circle, being presented with his rosette for winning this greedy competition, very kindly sponsored by Allied Irish Banks of Carrick and Shore. Well done, Seamus. Marie Maloney, Majestic Flight, Mary White, and Escalator, Edward Doyle, and Celtic Warrior, and Orna McGinn, and Sky Height. Third prize, Rosette, Brie and Majestic Flight, and Brie White, and Escalator. The two Maries, Marie Maloney from Kilkenny and Marie White from Limerick. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Uh, smile, everybody. Get a horse to smile as well. <laughs> Allied Irish Banks of Carrick and Shore for their generous sponsorship in this class and in the Grand Prix which follows. Might it not? Try it that way, yeah. Try it that way. Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well done. Thanks. Well done. Where are you from? Well done, Danielle. Danielle is all the way from Cantork. Congratulations Thank from Allied Irish Banks on winning this lovely trophy. Thanks and continued much. success. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. That's the girl. Well done. Well done. Thank you very much. I know, Jim, you'll have to put something on this. Tell him you'll have to put something on this. Tell him you'll have to put something on this. Tell him I didn't know. I came I was I was I was I was I Who are you now? No, I am. Oh, yeah. oh. oh. There's a whole lot of around the back. Oh, yeah. Two, uh, two children. 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 Two Well done, and uh, Brendan right there, and Red, Red Ron and Rose there with another good clear out. Well done. You don't mean to have a conversation? We'd like to remind you again now taking place at ring number one is the AIB Grand Prix for £2,000. And uh, all the leads and show jumpers in Ireland are taking part. So if you want a good evening's entertainment at ring number one and see the top show jumpers taking part in the AIB Grand Prix, go along to ring number one.
superintendent of Merck Shop and Dome or some of the Commissioner of the Class 27, Dome Cat, Lass, Hello, Hedro. Ring up the arms now, the Pentagon Wind Focus, Jerry Rafferty. This is with the Class 27 for the open class of Hello, Hedro, born in the 89. And the second class is the daughter of this mess. This bear was right by a very good friend, I think, of anybody in the equestrian world. A very nice, decent man down in Tashmore, James Christian of the world. Would you please come along? to the commercial cattle ring as the animal she is exhibiting is about to be judged. Mrs. Wendell T. Howell to the commercial cattle ring immediately, please. Huh? <laughs> He's having a look at you. And the winners, ladies and gentlemen, of the Dairy Cow Championship sponsored by Merck Shop and Dome, first, John Stain, second, John Stain, and third, James Hannon from County Limerick. Give him a big round of applause there, please. Take that over. You hit it all. Just be one as much as ten. Yeah, no, just change the hour. That's about the end. No, not really. Really, really, really. From the Brewery County Limerick. As I say, almost every county is representative. She qualified at for my show. This mayor, a Nazi Q mayor. Uh, here representing County Limerick for my show, Julian Hall, and I'll take you in the way. Here we have number 25. May not be on your catalog at all because it's a late qualifier from Colophon. Uh, this is Mrs. C. Dion's ladder. I haven't a whole lot more particulars, but I do know that the nice hole there is also a Ballon Villa. Mm -hmm. 
Three counter guardians cutting back to the judges in a nice clear cold ladder. And the fold by Ballon Villa. Now, oh, nice green there here, ladies and gentlemen. Number 27. Owned by Thomas Brennan of Cool Grain Stud, Kitchen County, Kilkenny. Known as Cool Grain Diamond. And is by Diamond for Trump out of a Dan by Matchlight. Number three, John Cotton from Kilmall County Wexford with Debbie Lady. Qualified at that very nice show down there with Banner and Ratangan. There is also by routine and was played by the owner. Is by Marwood. Now, what as I said earlier, he stands with Patrick Lala down in Mulma Vacuum County, Kilkenny. And the rest of the city is loaded. It's the female, right by himself. And the car now, fighting back to the good And the nice tall lady from here is by now. So ladies and gentlemen, we are there for you. The judges have one, two. We will have them in order of the price money. I thank you as an audience for having stayed with us for over the last hour. We and the Irish Shores Association are very interested in putting on those good competitions as an educational exhibit for everybody involved in the agricultural and history of models. Because comparison is one of the ways you learn. <laughs> Okay, yes. Wait, uh, <laughs> you were up in, um, that's right. Yes, that's correct, right. that's right. Yes. And, and there was a huge out. assembly there too, as so. there is here. I'm amazed at the number you get for the show. Well, well, so well, how are you? Nice to meet you again. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's uh, two, two years ago. Two years ago. Yes, yes, two years ago. Yes, that's right. Have you two made your... No, not yet. See, we are yet. so married to Joe Welsh now here, we don't I know, know yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is he here today? No, I don't think so. No. We can't, uh, can't uh, our, uh, our German department do. <laughs> so it's either, you can't get away from it. Yeah, it yeah, explains the difference. Anywhere there's, there's money, money. you'll find a cock, man. Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we wish to welcome to the arena Mr. Chair, Minister of State for Agriculture, who has come here to honor us with his presence today. 
and I think it's disappointing to see our minister coming and taking an interest in what we are doing. We were in uh, Virginia yesterday and John Wilson spent a day going right through all the cattle and down into the food house. We have Mr. Kirk here with us today. And irrespective of politics, I'm not a believer, I'm a believer in people doing their job. And the one way you do your job is get down to the ground. And Minister, you are very welcome. Give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Judges are doing a very sensible thing, going right back or wherever the animal they saw before they make a decision. The Bank of Ireland has a logo which says, what will it do for you? So we went from anywhere and it's no longer what can we do for you, but what have they done for us? And we appreciate very much the bank's involvement with us. And long may it remain. To tell you how involved the Bank of Ireland are in this All Ireland Broadmoor final, their involvement is as follows. The first mayor here today gets £1,000 for some beautiful sources in the Bank of Ireland. So everybody are uh, well treated here. So on behalf of the Irish Shores Association, on behalf of Ivex Show, in which we are partners in this great event, we thank the bank. And we, as chairman of the Irish uh, Shores Association, I personally thank Ivex as well, within the stall, which is the oldest, uh, town of Ballas Law. And yeah, you can have a victim that that argument goes on so quickly. But they all go back as far as I can find to. There is a record of one show having been held in 1820. Ed says we are going into the limit of darkness and we will not comment any further on any of the animals because of the same situation and uh, the final decisions have been made.
Now, you just give it the job there again. Just walk up the job, that just goes Pension built here in this Bank of Ireland Road Mail campus. To a lot of people, this is as soon as it was for the young ladies last week in Philly for the Rose of Philly title. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I think the result is coming up. And we'll start with the prize money. And the first mayor we'll bring in is the seven prize winner. Number seven, whoever number seven will be. <laughs> Number seven prize goes to Jerry Hardwin of the Lee County Limit. Number six. Nine. Oh, you're on six play, yeah, number nine. Goes to number nine, nine Tom Hall of Ballinock County Waterford with Ballinock Girl. Girl. Fifth prize goes to Tinker Sale. Who's our qualifier from Kilkenny, Thomas Brennan of Cool Grey Stock. Four prize goes, goes to, to number, number one. one. one That's right, yeah. yeah. Number, number one. one. All the way from Bandon, Dominic McCarthy, uh, 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 with a with mayor called Gray Shay. One, two, three, four. Three. Now, now the, the bigger prize, prize is coming, coming up. up. And number eight. eight. Hardwick Bracken, Cool Grey, Tullamo County Apple. With the Pallet Diamond, Diamond Mayor. Yeah.
Number two. Second is Thomas Powell of Bengal again with Dara Barna, which won this competition two years ago. And our line C89, Bank of Ireland champion, is. Is Alan Alcon, five million Bridge, Town, County, Tyro, with Easter Bunny. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and welcome, Alan Man and Lucian Newton, the best in the It's a case of third time lucky. She qualified with her first goal. And three, and three days, days before, before the championship, she stepped in a round stone and was lame. I missed it. Last, last year, year we had a ball. She was here, she was third. And this year we're first. Thank, thank you very much. much. Appreciate it very much. What has she bred so far? Well, the first, our first yearling, um, our first horse was the Dublin champion. He won the yearling, two-year-old, and the Dublin championship. As a three-year-old. As a three-year-old. What was his name? Easter. Easter House. Yeah. And then her now. Yeah, but she was champion young horse, wasn't the Easter horse? Mm -hmm. and, and then American champion. Tony, you're going to set up the pitch on over there. He's by standard bear. Yeah, yeah, but you're going to set up the pitch on the side. This one, one Balmoral. That's right, this one hasn't been beaten this year. Balmoral, one Balmoral went this year. How are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, that's right. What age would he be now? Four. I still own it. And he, he is a really good one. And he won the American Hunter. And she won the American Hunter. Oh yeah, right. Uh, now on Rosemary yeah. McVeigh. Uh -huh. V-I-G-H, isn't it? That's right. And she's from where? She's uh, from Cumbers. Valley Where? Valley Guyon. Where's that? That's from County Down. County Down. Former. Well, you know what I have got to think about? A little money duck. Yeah. That whenever I ever stick with it, I got money from my grandfather every week and he used to put in this. A little open money duck. You must have lost some money now. <laughs> I don't yeah, know how it's been used now. But they're bound to fill up, of course. It's bound to fill up. Yeah. That's very nice. It's nice. That's That'd be nice right. in the sideboards, I suppose, with many of them. It's interesting. Oh, you can get it. now this is Mr. McCargill from Ben. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Here's a looking man, you know, his documentation got locked. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Six. Yeah, it seems we've only six of us. This is all for Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Six of us. He was told last year, wasn't he? Second last year. He's here every year, man. He's here. He's always in hospital. Is he waiting from? All the way to the front. Thank you. the overall dairy champion and the reserve championship down to his son John Jr. I have the right one, you see. Uh, <laughs> what he'd say, he's no doubt. He's young lad, you must look after. Right. Fine, yes. Okay? Yes, fine. All right. Thank you very much. Just welcome right. towards me there now. Put those 
Harry. Three out of the seven. Grand Prix here at the Advert Show today is as follows. In first place, Diamond Express, Francis Connors, clear in a time of 39.15. Second, Carol's Killalay, Paul Dara, clear in a time of 39.55. Third, Touchdown, James Kiernan, clear in a time of 41.68. Fourth, the Horn of Queen and Gregory Mangan, clear in a time of 47.36. Fifth, Canta Bahama and Edward Doyle, three faults in a time of 56.72. And sixth is Skylight and John Hall, three faults in a time of 60.55. And we will have the representatives of Allied Irish Banks, Carrigan Shore, to make the presentation for this Grand Prix. And I think the spectators today have been treated to some excellent jumping from some of our top show jumpers and we greatly appreciate the generous sponsorship of Allied Irish Banks Carrigan Shore for this Grand Prix. She's from Waterford. <laughs> She's from Waterford. <laughs> She's from Waterford. She's from Waterford. <laughs> now we have the winner, Diamond Express, and Francis Connors from Waterford. And could we have all the prize winners in for the rosette on the horses, please? Which side are you? Which side? Which side? In Carrick on Shore, making the presentation to Francis Connors from Palestud in Woodstown, winner of the AIB Grand Prix. Francis and Diamond Express. Diamond Express. Thank you. 
<laughs> okay, so thank you so much. Okay, Jerry, you're welcome. Could we have that handshake again, okay? What am I standing in, Paul? What have I stood in? <laughs> Sorry. Good. One more, one more. Sorry. Touchdown. All the way from across the Glen. Thank you very much. Great contribution to us. Great contribution. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. One more, just to... Okay. Okay. Great. Oh, do you have anything you say for a good man? Good man, he'll life on you. Anything you he'll say, life on you. That way, sir. You're not bloody all right. Would all the game men coming out of the bench in the tent want to have the rafters for the game trial? All game men are out of the bench in the tent. Two cups. Two cups. The winner of the final silver round was Brenda O'Shea of Mona Bank Tensio. And the third round. Ah. Smile, Billy. I'm oh, right that might never happen. That's the third round now, 50 for Damon. We have Catherine Holmes in the second round, please. And the last ticket is blue again. 3 4 4 8. That's worth 50 to win again. This is the last call now for the game. Anybody that don't collect their cakes in the next five minutes are afraid the cakes are going to be given out. Well, move in too, sir. Move in a bit. You're not afraid to be like this, are you? You don't have any cakes. Jimmy? No. No, no. What's his name, eh? Hatch. Hatch. Next 
Yeah, you can swear in there. <laughs> for the camera, come on. Yeah. And I still have a load of dogs to go through. It is. Don't look around it. It's okay. See the top knot. She should be here. Good day. I wonder what you stand up. Come on, Cass. Move. Hold on, we won't be long. Oh, no, Banzo. 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 He's going to Yeah. yeah. Yes, now they can walk them slowly now. Okay. Just past me there now. And yeah, next one. Next one. <laughs> Keep them coming. 
That's good. Now, where's the other fellow going to? Here, Pat. Come in here. Oh. Come in here. Come in here. Keep going around me. Keep going around me there. Just walk around me. Uh, the wrong way. <laughs> no. Right? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Do you remember to put his coat? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I couldn't keep my country back. Yeah. You're, the, you're still the bowl fella, are you? Oh. You're a man or something. Oh, you're not even telling him to come out. Have a quick word with you. Have it right this time. Yeah, like. By the time you're finished, Mary got something to go to, would you? I do, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Th
Thank you. Bite your thumb, is it? Pardon? Bite your thumb. <laughs> Thanks. Now we're going to make 
make a draw. That's the last for him to jump here in this second round. Now we're making a draw, and uh, we'll tell you what the first one or two per. Top line is first to jump. Semi the dance is next to jump. And Mary Cunning is not to jump. No, but that's, that's enough to keep on on. For the moment. Three number 29, Inish McNevin and Shane McNamara. When the force is ready. Oh, you wouldn't believe it, Carmen. 
stomach. You wouldn't believe it. The last one down. Oh, my goodness my gracious me. Four faults there. And it's time. Michael has been with the touch of the eye of show for a number of months. Right, the standard, the standard, here. The standard here today is so as good as I've ever seen. In They're even then complaining that the fences are too low. And from my opinion, the fences were never as high. We've got great jumping here on all day. Despite all the talk of their points, we hurry up. Our entries are as good, if not better, than ever. And we have, we have had a great day, nearly accident free. And I'm very proud to be a little You said nearly absolutely, hopefully for what you do. There was absolutely, there was never a uh, night to mark. Alright, uh, just tell me what file are we looking for? We are looking at the 14 2 in the third round ANP. And tremendous standard and miles from everybody. Yes, that's right. Well, you have it from Kevin McCarthy and Gordon Sam. He does have the good stuff for that. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Kevin McCarthy and Gordon Sam with a good clear round. Well done. Hey, Liam. Okay. Expectations. Great show. Great. One of the best shows ever. All this talk about the flu, they are. Every one of the owners came out and supported Ivor's show as they always do. And uh, we had wonderful entries. Uh, I think we can safely say we had more entries this year than we ever. I know, I'll, I'll worry about the Grand Prix last well weekend. Well done, well done, well done. Nothing, well done, well done. nothing well done. happened to the Grand Prix went well ahead and I believe the entry was the best that they had three. in the Grand Prix since the last not couple of months. Not good enough, it was but brilliant, not brilliant not competition. Enough. We had nine of the leading riders in Ireland in the jump off against the top. The jumps were big and the competition was great. And, uh, and I believe a local man was a winner. Well, uh, it gives me great pleasure in congratulating Francis Connors of Woodstone no, for winning this uh, competition. And uh, in but such circumstances, they were all trying to, uh, to beat him on his local ground. I call it his local ground. Uh, uh, he has been here since he was six years of age to the Real High Bar Show. And he has won this in style. Uh, he, he didn't win it, he won it in style. And I really delighted. Okay, Billy. Many thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You see I'm walking down, it's only when they're finished. Marvellous, marvellous It's great day for Pentown Show. Probably the best day yet you have, is it? I believe, I heard that the time in the game are very, very good and um, I will admit we need it because I've had important to go last time and that's a problem in the future of the show is very secure. Hopefully, hopefully. Just one question for you. You were the man that kept at me the last few years to introduce the chief. Are you, are you happy? Are you happy? Well, I think it was a great, it is great to see this because we're responding to the industry, where the industry is going, it's one of the growth areas. And it's great to see Ivor show, you know, they're responding to the development of the industry. I, 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 I was thrilled to see them there because it's the new development and uh, it's a new departure for you but it's uh, it's a it's, it's, uh, it's the area you will go in the future i say it's one day you will always have a ship pass but from what i heard from the comments up around there today i think we could need to prepare for double the amount next year yeah i'm sure you could yeah i'm sure you could because uh, you know there was a lot of people i let a number of people know but there's a lot of people i'm sure they didn't know or expect you were going to have ship passes so it's um, uh, it can only it can go from here. It can go from here, and uh, a lot of the breed society. Thanks, and try and walk on. And thanks, Michael. I'm delighted. Thank, Thank you. Jerry. Hello, Jerry. After a 163rd year, what are your impressions of today? Best ever. There's no doubt about it. But but the crowd today and the great success and and, and the wonderful cooperation from our stewards and uh, it really was the most successful show in my time. Anyway, 
and, and, that, and that's since 1953. 51, as a matter of fact. 51, as a matter of fact. It's, it's quite a long time. When I look back on the small little, nice little, comfortable shows we had, and to see this real business-like commercial show we have today, it, it certainly shows. It shows. It shows the economy is booming. That's my impression. No shortage of money here today, and no shortage of effort from our stewards. I think it's a fantastic achievement. Good. And that, and with that comment from our secretary, Jerry Donohue, who has been secretary since 1951, I think it is now, the time has now come to wind down this film. And all I can say, as chairman of the Ivar Show Committee, one couldn't ask for a better committee to work with, encouraging, obliging, do anything to help to keep the show where it is among the top four in Ireland. Thank you. Good, Mr. Chairman. Ask him, I that's very good, right? Here's the night. Here's the night. No, Lynn, there's your paraphernalia. <laughs>